Hello and welcome. My name is Barbara. I am holding my phone with my hand, so apologies. Uh, I'm in my car. This is my channel, Be PR Goddess One, and I am here having just done an exchange on some of my uh, Sephora stuff. So, as I sit here after my doctor's appointments, still got my uh, nasty arm thing from labs. I am <clears throat> really feeling that I don't know how to manage my time because I did get the new stick on um, magnetic holder for my phone and where is it? It's in the kitchen because I just didn't have the time to deal with it today. So here we are after my doctor's appointment in labs I came to do this errand and return this stuff at Sephora but first of course I had a little mini Taco Bell lunch because I hadn't eaten anything all day. My appointment was later in the day. My labs were yeah basically I was just I was starving and I needed something. So judge me if you want, I don't really care. I needed to eat something and it was cheap and it was there. It was hot and it was ready. So let's look at what we got in place of what we returned. And I returned the Beauty Blur Balm from One Size Beauty, which is Patrick Starr's line, in the shade Medium 3 Golden because I already owned it. I bought it as a duplicate by accident. So I didn't even open it, I just brought it back. And yes, today is a hair wash day. It's pretty much almost dry. It's starting to look kind of cute, which means, of course, tomorrow when I need it to look nice, it's not gonna look nice. So what did I get? I tried to go through their beauty challenge that as a beauty insider I was offered. If I spent $25 on clean hair products, I would get 100 points. If I spent $25 or more, again, on clean skincare, I would get another 100 points. If I used my own bag, in other words, I didn't take one of their bags, so I reused one of these, I would get 100 points. I think it's up to 400 points or something like that. And then if I bring recyclables, clean and rinse and ready to go to the store, I'll get another 100 points or so. So what did we do? First time I got some hair stuff, I thought I bought enough of the, of the skincare stuff at the time, but I didn't. So I exchanged slash returned the Beauty Blur Balm. And I got the things that were listed in their little, like, these items count. First of all, I got this, which is the Sephora Niacinamide and Zinc Clarifying Toner. I got the Glow Toner last time, so we're going to try using both of them at the same time. I got the brand new Inky List Hydro Colloid Invisible Pimple Patches. 22 patches for 9 bucks, a little bit more than I like to spend. But I do want to kind of compare them to the ones I get on Amazon and the 3M ones. I also got the Sephora Daily Sunscreen Cream, 15.5% Zinc Oxide Invisible Finish, Unscented, SPF 30. And it's 15, like I said, 15.5% Zinc Oxide. And it's supposed to be mineral and use it as the last step or instead of your daily moisturizing. I'm oily, it's going to be instead of. Then I repurchased, whoop, fall on the floor, why don't you? This guy. They had it in the vanilla, but I didn't want the vanilla. I like the cherry, so I got a second cherry one. This is the Moisturizing and Smoothing Cherry Extract Lip Sleeping Mask. I like to wear it all day long. And then on top of that, I got this, which is the Lip Butter Wild Mango 12 Hour Hydration. I love mango. I love cherries. I'm a fruit girl. Take it as, as you want. And uh, yeah, so these are the things I got at Sephora today. So let's see what we have here. I went ahead and returned something that was on sale for $24.50, which was the Beauty Blur Bomb. I had originally paid, it would have been $34. So it was a good deal when I got it over Memorial Day weekend. So the lip mask was seven, the sunscreen was 20, the toner was 14, and the lip butter was eight, and the pimple patches were nine. I ended up paying $33.50 before tax. After tax, $35.06. And it's enough to go on the Klarna card. $35 over four different payments over every two weeks. It's gonna be nothing. So we're fine. And on that note, I'm trying not to worry about lab results. I had this doctor's appointment today. I have another one next Tuesday and I have an annual review, which is a new requirement for this current job. I'm used to it from the private sector, but not the public. So, and it's funny because I came into the public sector expecting it got spoiled that they didn't do it and now they're adding it so there you go but on that note I'm gonna go tell me what would you have spent your $25 or more on there was tons of cool stuff I just I wanted to keep it simple and it needed to be skincare and not hair care because let me tell you I love me some good hair care 
as you can tell. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to go. It's almost time for my husband to get out of work. I'm going to give him a call and see what he's up to. And maybe we'll meet for dinner. If not, I'm going to go home and uh, lay out clothes for tomorrow and start trash and cook dinner and all that good shit. So feel free to do your YouTube stuff. Subscribe, like, share, social emoji, lifts and the comments and so forth to grow the channel. But other than that, I hope you're well. I hope this video finds you well and I hope it leaves you well. So if you're, oh, and if you're curious about what I have on today, by all means, leave me a comment and I will tell you everything from the lashes I'm wearing to the lipstick, to the liner, to the jewelry, even the shirt. You ask, I'll answer. Ciao, baby.